everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandon. And, and this, this is Fish or Price, Price Ranch. Ranch. everyone welcome back uh, both of us are here today and we're gonna be trying something new so we processed um, I processed nine roosters yesterday and so we got about 12 pounds of meat so we're gonna be deboning it and making lunch meat for the first time so join us as we go along we've never done it before so it'll be something interesting so here's all of our meat we have all of our legs and we've got um, a bunch of breast meat in here as well hiding somewhere down in here anyway so I'm deboning all these legs as much as we can get off of here we can always save I haven't finished this one yet but we can always cook this up um, we do need um, gelatin to make lunch meat so basically the idea is to get it all cleaned up uh, we're getting all the tendons out and then we are grinding it. So here's our grinder or blender and then we season it to our liking and we put it into these cylinders here and then cook them. Okay, got them deboned as much as possible without losing my hair on about it. So anyway, we got all this meat and we are grinding it up now. We are working on getting all of the tendons out, which is a pain. But luckily with our Ninja, it grinds it really well, but then the tendons don't grind, so then we can pull it out of the ground meat. No tendons. This here is picked completely clean. This is the stuff that's ground, and as you can see, here's the tendons. They come right out, um, but there are a lot, so we do have to go through it and pick them all out. Alright, so now we've added in our seasonings, and we're getting it all mixed up, and then we are ready to put it into our cylinders. Alright, we got we greased these up just a little bit, because we weren't sure if it would stick. But now we are going to fill these up about three quarters of the way, maybe a little more. Um, because basically, we need to get all the air out. And then we will be putting this guy on there on top of the meat and then it squishes down and basically compacts the meat down into a cylinder. So we do want it as full as possible because you want it as tight as possible. And then we will put these into a giant pot full of water and boil them until they are done. Alright, we got the first one full. This one we also dried and greased. And it's going to go on top, and then now we are going to put the lid over top, and we are going to squish, I can't do it with one hand, but we're going to squish it down and then lock the lid. Okay, we've got water in the pot. You're putting the tubes in. You want the water to sit um, right at least where your meat is. And I measured the water before I did this. Okay, so he measured the water already. So now we're going to let him boil for how long? Two to three hours. Two to three hours. Oh my goodness. It's okay. chicken, so I'm figuring two hours. Okay. And you can stick a thermometer in. Oh, and nice. Check it. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so this is going to just sit here and go for a couple hours, and then we'll have to let him cool before we can pull him out. And then we'll probably let him cool overnight before we slice him. I guess while we wait, we pet bellies. Hi, Yondu. Hi, Yondu. Oh, does that feel good? Hmm? <laughs> okay, so we are checking the meat. We are looking for 180 degrees or higher. 
going up pretty quick. We are at 170. Uh, 180. Maybe just a hair longer? It's actually a couple of degrees over on that one. Okay. So technically that one should be fine. Okay, I'll check the other one. Don't burn your wrist there. Sixty, one seventy. Almost 180. Ouch, hot. Careful, it's hot. <laughs> I say let's let them go a little bit longer. Okay. All right, you guys, well, there's some jelly stuff in there. We actually didn't even add any gelatin, we just did the meat. So, meat had its, enough of its own gelatin in it. It ain't coming in. No? Well, we gotta make it hot, like they said. Alright, so they say to put this, submerge it, you know, up to here or whatever in hot water to soften it, and it literally only took a second, and the lid came off along with all the meat. And a bunch more juice. So now we just have to nice separate the lid from the meat. Gonna slice it and see how well it does. It is definitely just like cutting into a whole like solid chicken breast. Yeah. It's pretty thick, dense. We should definitely get a slicer. Yeah. <laughs> what do we think of the sandwich? Like lunch meat? Mm -hmm. Thank you.